Alright, so this is going to be kind of a strange way to introduce this episode, but basically I want to go over a little bit of what happened while I was playing uh, Adventure Mode off-camera, just kind of training uh, training my adventure, you know, grinding, pretty much. So, um, as you know, or as you are now being informed, I decided to train my guy as a swordsman, so we gave him a two-handed bronze sword and a bronze short sword because he ended up having a lot of trouble getting that thing lodged so I kinda gave him a second weapon but that's beside the point basically uh, I just took some screenshots because I wasn't recording but this is what happened is uh, Feliri or whatever the crossbowman that we've had since the beginning and I still don't know how to pronounce his name he was murdered by a goblin pretty bad because what we were doing or what I was doing I should say is I was uh, attacking like goblin camps, goblin outposts and things like that to train up my sword skill. So he gets murdered pretty bad in an ambush specifically. And then in the same encounter, our archer, Apba, also gets pretty, he doesn't die like Thaleri, the crossbowman. He gets murdered outright. The archer, you can see on the screenshot how many injures, injuries he has here. He's pretty much mangled beyond recognition completely, and I'm not talking about like our guy where he has an arm missing, like this dude got messed up. So what I decided to do was put the archer out of his misery, and what that did with our boy Omo is that Omo completely lost his mind. He obviously didn't like the fact that we murdered one of our companions, and then you can tell uh, I did that out of mercy because like, what is this archer going to do now that he's completely mangled? You know, we just kind of took him out of his misery. So, my character Molstad and Omo got into a fist fight because Omo spat at me saying that I was not a good adventurer, not a good companion. So, me and Omo box for a while. And in the middle of the fight, I decided to throw what I had left of my left lower arm at Omo. And... Omo does not like that, and he draws his sword, so of course I draw my sword, and we end up dueling. And after the duel, no one won, no one died, I should say. We decide to go our separate ways, and... Well, not go our separate ways, I actually had him as a companion for a while, and I also went back to the town and recruited another companion. And I went to go train in, the, in one of the goblin forts, where both... Uh, there was a point where, after killing innocent, you know, innocent in quotes, goblins, me and Omo and the other companion got separated. I handled a little, little uh, group of hunters that were shooting at us, and then Omo and the, the mole men, it was like a hammerman, decided to charge into a lasher group. They were heading west, I believe, which was the direction of, oh, I just got a message. They were heading west, which was the direction of the main goblin tower like the big one where the demon lives so I don't know where they went they could have died terribly hopefully because I don't like Omo because he's kind of a dick but uh he could have gotten torn apart by goblins could have been possessed by a demon or maybe he's the king of the goblins now no one knows but uh just wanted to give you that heads up before we start this episode all right and we're back at another forbidden beast slayer got two new companions, a spearman and a maceman, ever since what happened to our old companions at that tower, which I'm pretty sure I told you about before. I like to record these in chunks, but we're hunting a new forbidden beast, so I'm going to try to lure her out. Uh, I don't want to... There she is. It's a hydra, by the way. Giving you the heads up right there. So, same tactics as before when we were fighting the dragon. Damn. And it kind of looks like we're cornered here, so I'm going to dodge. I'm going to try to dodge my way out of this. Yeah, okay, we managed to do that. And then we're back up top here. So hopefully the Hydra will follow us up here. We're going to tell our followers to start following us again. So that way they engage in combat with the Hydra. Instead of just kind of, you know sitting there not doing anything because we need our companions to fight this thing especially since hydras are interesting uh, if you know anything about the myth 
the original Hydra myth. Um, it just had the one head, I'm pretty sure, to start off with, and every time Hercules, I think it was Hercules, cut off a head, another one would grow in its place. Or was it two? I don't know. I think it was two would grow in its place, because it... Alright, sorry for that interruption, but uh, I decided to look up the Hydra on Wikipedia. In Greek mythology, it starts with nine heads. If you cut off one of the heads, two more grow back. Obviously, Hercules has to flame the wound so they don't grow back. Um, and then apparently there is one head in the center that's immortal, but in Dwarf Fortress and Dragon's Dogma, that's not how it works. Um, the way it works in both those, or the way it works in Dwarf Fortress at least, is that it just has seven heads, and then it can attack in all directions, so you gotta be careful of that. Alright, so when fighting this Hydra, we're just gonna play a dodging game until our allies can kinda surround it. So... You can see the Macemans already starting to get some of her licks in right there. But we're gonna keep dodging westward until our Spearman- yep, that's what we wanted, the Spearman and the Macemen to kinda advance and hopefully do some uh, surrounding damage type things. Alright, so the best way to fight this thing is gonna be to try to flank it in as many ways as possible. Um, so we're going to try to surround it as best we can, even though it's mostly targeting us, which I'm not a fan of, but it looks like all seven heads right there are going to attack me, so let's try to stab it. We miss. Okay, so now it's getting completely surrounded, uh, at least by the spearman, which is going to be the one that needs to do most of the damage here, which you can already see they managed to do because they get s the hydra gets stabbed in the lower guts. And that is going to make it sick, kind of, so we're going to dodge again. Um, so it's going to attack us again, so let's dodge to the east this time. There we go. And it looks like it's recovering from attacking, so let's aim for the upper body with a stab. I think we said we missed there. Uh, yeah. So the Hydra's vomiting. I don't know if that means it's going to vomit from all seven heads or not, or if it's only vomiting from one. Um, yeah, the Spearman lost a leg right there. We're going to try a quick attack stab in the upper body. We tear apart the left lung, so it's going to start having trouble breathing. Our sword gets stuck. So our sword gets stuck, and we're going to try to get out of there, which we managed to do. We scramble away. What is this? Is that, uh... Okay, so that's pretty much like all of Neep's limbs right there, so that's cool. The Hydra's starting to throw up right there. Um, all seven heads are gonna be distracted, so we're gonna stab again. Tear apart some of the ribs right there. Um, yeah, so rest in peace, Neep. You have blood to death, so we're gonna stab. We attack the Hydra, but she jumps away. Oh, damn. So, Emtha bashes the Hydra in the teeth, first head, with her silver flare. Flail. Well, I guess she did it with some flare, too, because the Hydra's teeth explode pretty much everywhere. It doesn't say how many heads are doing what, so we're gonna dodge west. Let's try to strike it in the lower body with a stab. Tear apart the right kidney in that case, so that's pretty good. Damn, okay, so Ampha gets pretty messed up right there, so we're gonna dodge east. We're gonna dodge east. Basically, I'm just gonna keep dodging until we can get to that silver spear, because even though we've been training as a swordsman for a while now, that is our, uh, our main talent. So we're gonna take this two-handed sword, and we're gonna throw it at the Hydra. And it strikes the left rear leg, fracturing the bone. Okay, and the most important thing there is that it uh, frees up our hand to hopefully pick up wherever that spear went. I need to look around for it. I also can't forget to... Uh, there's that silver spear. I can't forget to pick up my sword because that's my main weapon. So we pick up the silver spear with our right hand. Alright, now that we have our spear, hopefully we can... Uh, 
do some more damage since this is a weapon we're a bit more familiar with in terms of skill. So let's go for a stab in the upper body, we miss. Amplo's getting completely destroyed. Normal strike, very square, let's go for a quick attack. Stab, we attack the Hydra, but she jumps away. Hydra's gonna try to attack us now, so let's dodge south. Attack the Hydra, but she jumps away. Hydra keeps jumping away. And we... okay, so... Let's strap that spear to our body. Okay, the Hydra charges at us. And collides with us, so... Let's take our swords, short sword and whip it at this Hydra. And it hits her in the lower body, tearing apart the muscle and tears apart the guts. So, good thing uh, we invested some points into throwing. Um, the Hydra's just thrown up everywhere. Strike at the upper body, we miss. Okay, let's dodge to the northeast. Let's strap this spear to our upper body again. Pick up our two-handed sword this time and whip it again at the Hydra. Hopefully get another good hit in. Yeah, we get it in the leg. We collapse from overexertion, so we're crawling on the floor now. We gotta stand up here. And let's start walking. Just put some more distance between us and the sick ass Hydra. I should say sick because it looks cool because it's all gold and stuff, but also sick in the fact that it's just throwing up all over the place. Let's get our bronze two-handed sword back. Let's throw it again, hopefully do some actual damage this time. Nope, it just kind of bounces off. Okay. Let's get the Hydra. We're gonna... okay. No, we need to draw our spear, that's what we want to do. And stab. Stab the Hydra, fracturing the true right ribs, and the Hydra's having more trouble breathing. Cool. So let's dodge to the west. Let's aim for the lower body with a stab, tear apart the guts once more. And with that, let's dodge to the west. We're gonna do circles around this Hydra, strap the spear to our back, let's pick up this sword again. And hopefully we can do some more damage with another throw. The attack glances away, so it kind of just bounces off her head. The Hydra misses us, so let's dodge to the west. It's charging east, so we're gonna stab. We miss the Hydra. Okay, let's dodge to the west. Oh look, it's our uh, trusty bronze two-handed sword that we've been using as a throwing knife, essentially. Okay, so we just completely missed with that one. I don't even know where it went now, so... Oh, there it is. So, Hydra's gonna try to attack us, so we're gonna dodge to the east, we're gonna dodge to the south, we're gonna very easy strike square, let's make this a... Let's make this a wild attack. Stab. Okay, so we stab the Hydra in the upper body with our spear, tearing apart the right lung. Let's back up and get that spear back. Let's dodge to the north, dodge to the west, and let's strike it again, tearing apart the liver in that case. I don't even know if a Hydra can bleed out, but this thing is probably not feeling great. And the thing I hate about fighting Hydras is at any point one of the seven heads just could completely mess you up. Let's strap the spear to our upper body again. Let's pick up this sword, classic bronze sword. Let's whip it at this thing once more. Okay, we miss, and we miss by a lot, actually. Um, okay, charging southeast, so let's stab it with a heavy attack. Okay, so we do more damage in that case. Let's dodge to the west. Dodge to the west. Yeah, the Hydra's just kind of thrown up everywhere. That's cool. Um, lower body. I'm getting like one. I'm literally getting a frame a second here. Yeah, tear apart the guns once more. Um, 
man, I don't know why I'm only getting like two frames, but hey, it's not affecting much with this game. Simple strike, direct hit in the upper body. Tearing apart the muscle and tearing apart the liver. I'll take that, I'll take that. And the Hydra has suffocated. We managed to suffocate the Hydra. You have no idea. Jesus. I fought Hydras in uh, Adventure Mode before, and usually they're such a pain. Like, I'm surprised that we managed to actually kill this thing. Okay, so we pick up our bronze short sword, strap that to our upper body, and let's get our mainstay two-hander here. Our real weapon. So we managed to kill the Hydra here. Let's butcher it. Let's see. Hydra meat. Hydra fat. Um, it has eight lungs and two hearts. I don't know if that's me. I think that might be just two units of hearts, but it has 28 brain. Let's just get 15 meat. That seems reasonable. So yeah, we slayed a Hydra. So basically, I'm just going to continue my quest on uh, killing as many forbidden beasts and monsters as we can.